What's up? I'm Connor Courtney. I've been attending the 515 Saturday night service since I can really remember. I don't really have a, a special story like most people would. I was kind of just born into a, a Christian home since since day one, really. Um, I got two perfect parents and they kind of taught me how how faith works my whole life. Um, and it's it's awesome, really. I knew that that Jesus was was the right way, the right path, but I never really started taking it super seriously till really recently, or um, I've kind of just started praying more normally before I go to bed, and I'll try reading the Bible every morning, and kind of just that kind of stuff. But the one way that, that I really um, praise Jesus is by loving other people, and that's kind of my way of, of Praising Jesus is just really loving others. And there's actually a verse in the Bible, John 13, 34 to 35 says, let me give you a new command. Love one another in the same way that I loved you. You love one another, and this is how everyone will recognize that you are my disciples, when they see the love that you have for each other. That's one of my favorite verses. Um, and it really just shows me that if I love others, then that's kind of my way of, <clears throat> of saying that I love God too, and I think that's really awesome. Sometimes it's hard to, to see God in your life, but um, a few things that, that I've, you know, asked for is, you know, sometimes I, I used to struggle with some social confidence, and, and I really, I, it was hard for me to, to talk to people a lot of times, but I prayed about it, and I kind of just said, you know what, God's got a plan, I can, I can, I can sit back and enjoy life and, and kind of let him do the works behind the scenes. And, and then since I started praying that prayer, it's kind of just been, I feel like I've been a pretty social person. I can, I can talk to most people. I don't feel nervous to, to talk loud in crowds and start conversations. And, you know, he, he really does act in mysterious ways. And sometimes you, you, won't, you won't see that until later on. One of the reasons that I really want to get baptized is I kind of want to mark the last chapter of my life and, and move on to the next. But I also, I don't want to get baptized because I want to say, okay, this is what I need to do or else I can't be loved by God because he loves all of us. But it's kind of my way of saying, I'm going to take the next steps in the next pages of my life and I want to take them in in God's in God's eyes and in, in God's path. Um, and so, being a part of your journey over the last year, it's been absolutely unbelievable. I remember when we first met uh, at uh, at our video nights for worship nights, and you have a servant heart through and through, and that's something that's always got me. And I remember driving home with you, dropping me off at home, because your dad was on his couch watching TV, and. <laughs> That's not true. And I remember just talking life with you. And it was like immediately, you just started opening up and, 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 and I, was, I was ready to wait. I was being patient with you. I was like, hey, let's see if we can get something else. And you just like opened up and started telling each other. And you told me a bit of your story. And I got home and I remember thinking to myself, the spiritual maturity and the, the, the level that this guy's at is unbelievable for his age. And you have a passion for the Lord and it is inspiring. You, you, you excite other people around you how social you are and how much you love the Lord. And so I'm so excited today to be a part of this journey. I'm honored to, to, to be a part of this journey with you and, and get ready for the next step. So, Connor, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.